Most history passes over women. Our names and faces are missing, our stories omitted or distorted, and covered over by an endless masculine litany of kings, warlords, priests, with an occasional queen or concubine, often a woman blamed for ruining everything. But women have exercised power and determined the course of events and the forms of human culture. Women founded, governed, invented, and created. We have been leaders, prophets, scribes, and authors, warriors and rebels against oppression, fighting for our rights and for our peoples. Girls and women suffer from a lack of knowledge about societies that accord power to females in public life, in religion, medicine, the arts, diplomacy, land care, and inheritance. These crucial silences and omissions create the demoralizing impression that women have always been beneath men, which is false. In classic Eurocentric history, women end up as footnotes to the main story. Sandra Cisneros said of the search for Latina heroines, We are the footnotes of the footnotes. And yet the heritages of women of color, especially indigenous women, supply the most dramatic recent examples of societies that embraced open female power. Even the tendency to focus on famous women or rulers is a distortion. We understand more if we expand our vision to include entire groups of creative and honored women, the clan elders and inventors, the healers, shamans, and priestesses. There's a clear interplay between these spiritual offices and political power in many indigenous societies. Power itself has been conceived of very narrowly as domination, force and supremacy, top-down command, grasping and seizing goods and grinding down people, despoiling nature. These systems are more than patriarchal, they are colonial and imperial. Looking past these blinkers will give us a broader view of reality, one that takes in female spheres of power, cultural, foundational, political, social, economic, technological, religious, artistic, medical, scholarly, physical, agents of change and transformation. There's always much more that could be said on such a vast topic, but this is just a start at re-envisioning the female, in quick strokes, of empowered and formidable women, in all kinds of settings, from the most favorable egalitarian cultures to heavily male-dominated societies which decreed female submission, stigmatized female leadership, and disdained women's intellects and creativity. Even under these extremities, there have always been strong spirits who defy tyranny and rise up to shine a light.